teammate Jimmy Johnson. If that was anybody else other than Jimmy Johnson, I think that's too big of a gap. One to go. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. Byron to the top, and Johnson with him. Now here comes a run by Kevin Harvick. He's going to get to the inside of Byron here. Byron's not careful. DiBenedetto oh, yeah. push. Yeah, DiBenedetto, this is going to be a game changer right here. If they don't get a big run on the outside, I think uh, Kevin Harvick's going to get back to the lead. Oh, he lost his help there with DiBenedetto. Oh, oh contact. Kurt Busch is going for it. Three wide into the corner. Stacked up. Bush in the middle. I think you look at that 24 getting the victory here. And William Byron scoots away from them three wide behind him. William Byron for Rick Hendrick in a Chevrolet. Breaks the Ford stranglehold on the duels. And how they didn't wreck off a four again, I have no idea. What a race. Nice work, man. Awesome job, guys. First one of the year, baby. <laughs> <laughs> That was beautiful, man. Nice work. Kurt Busch had a big run, and that kind of broke up the battle as Jimmy Johnson and William Byron took their way to. Here comes Bowman. The white flag waves. One to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Alec, uh, Austin Dillon to the pit lane for tires with one to go. Kyle Busch, 9.7 back and closing as fast as he can. You know, this is one of those drivers. He doesn't have this long-term contract at Hendrick Motorsports. His future's a little bit unknown. This moment right here, if he can complete this, which it looks like he will, a huge moment for Alex Bowman's career and future and this season that he and Greg Ives and Hendrick Motorsports are starting to put together. Alex Bowman comes to the stripe to win the Auto Club 400. Career win number two. Awesome, Thank you. emotion. So you hear emotion now, the driver, Alex Bowman, and you saw the emotion nice right there, Greg Ives. Nice work, guys. Three wide to the line, Al Marola, Jimmy Johnson, Denny Hamlin. Hamlin gets the spot, seven time finishes, seven. <laughs> it's on the numbers. Gave us quite a show though today. Yeah, he did, showed some, some great moments today. 17 drivers back to Ross Chastain finish on the lead lap here at Auto Club Speedway. That was a total team effort. Alex did a great job. The car was fast, but that last pit stop was also a great stop to get him off pit road, give him a little bit of gap back to those competitors behind Alex Bowman. You see these guys celebrating. I think we saw Alex's dad in the picture there as well. This track was built by Roger Penske, much like Michigan International Speedway, and thus Victory Lane is right out here for the fans to all see. Pretty sure those tires are not going to come back in one piece to victory well, lane when he gets there. <laughs> we'll never know if they were worn to the cord, Jeff, because they sure are now. <laughs> there it goes. Bam. <laughs> He was fast all weekend. He was on everybody's radar. A lot of drivers called him the car to beat after practice and, of course, qualifying. And here he is, career win number two for Tucson, Arizona's Alex Bowman. Coming to one lap to go. Woo. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Byron out front by a second. This is the battle for second place. Oh, contact. Timmy Bump and Hill. run. Almost three wide as they come to the checkered. But Nemechek hangs on for second. William Byron is the winner. Byron, one eye race short of 1,500 for his career. 309th win. And bringing out that new paint scheme.
this weekend. That paid off. He finally got a win. He maybe could have had two by now, but haven't gone his way. But it did today here in Bristol. William Byron in the Blue Flame Special will go to victory lane. Allen for position. This wow. could get ugly for Joe Gibbs. He could be nervous. Boy, Timmy Hill is there, though, guys. This is close. Final lap. Here we go. Oh, you saw Byron make oh, a little mistake right close. there. Oh, huge drive off of two. He's going to have to drive it in there really hard to get to his bumper. Let's see if he does it. He's trying. No. Oh. Not going to happen no. this time. William Byron, your winner. First two-time winner. <laughs> <laughs> And the 22-year-old from Charlotte gets his second iRacing Pro Invitational win. And you don't think it means something to these guys? Look at that. He's excited. I think that meant even more to him because of Timmy Hill being in second place and what, what history they've had for Redemption. Darren iRacing. Yeah. I, man, I may have enjoyed it more over here than I did <laughs> running around in the back of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no chance I'm getting in that rig next week, yes, by the way, Boyer. That's what nope, we need. Let's nope. do that. <laughs>7th win for Chase Elliott in his 157th career start. Last win was right here at the Roval 14 races ago. All 7 wins coming in the last 3 seasons and on 6 different race tracks. He becomes the 6th driver to win this season. Second place battle. 
As well, it almost looks like maybe a tire went down on Michael McDowell right there coming to the line. Tonight, finally, Chase Elliott gets to burn down the house. <laughs> White flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. You know Kyle Busch is going to pull everything out of it he possibly can. Maybe bobble a little bit there off of two. He cut it down by a tenth, but not enough. Billy Dallas, boys. Baby. <laughs> Chase Elliott yes, gets his sir. first. Yes, sir. Super proud of you guys. First all-star win in his fifth start and becomes the 25th different driver to win NASCAR's All-Star Race. Jeff, you were right. The only <laughs> times the All-Star Race has not been at Charlotte Motor Speedway, an Elliott has won it. Chase's dad, Bill, in Atlanta, and now Chase at Bristol. Well, he drove a phenomenal race, had a great race car prepared by Hendrick Motorsports. There goes his buddy, comes his buddy Ryan Blaney to say congratulations. And listen to the crowd. A nice crowd to greet him. Ninth All-Star win for car owner Rick Hendrick. Most all-time. Nine wins with four different drivers for Hendrick Motorsports. And the Elliots become the second father-son combination to win the All-Star race. Following after the Earnhardt. Great sound that is. <laughs> Man, that's so cool to have fans. Can he do it again? Can he make another perfect lap? He's got one more lap to go at Daytona. One lap to go, presented here. by Credit One Bank. Drive off. He's bearing it in. All the braking's off. And Danny Hamlin is close enough. If the nine makes a mistake, he will be there. Big arc by the 11, trying to get to the bottom of this corner. Have a straight drive off. And he's really wide right there. Doesn't really lose a lot, but he's pushing as hard as he can. Yeah, he's just searching, trying to find something different, trying to find some speed somewhere. You see Truex underneath Johnson behind him. There's a car in front of these two. Will that affect Chase Elliott, the line that he chooses? It's all going to be where they catch that car. Is it in a bad spot, or does he have to find a way by without an issue? That is a bad spot to get by him. You hope he just Quint pulls Howell. over. Yeah, he pulls go. over. Quint House is going to pull over, get out of the way of this battle for the lead. We've seen a lot of issues in turn six today. Very tough braking. The nine does a nice job. Will he get a good acceleration off? There you go, Rick. Two more chicanes to the start finish line. Andy with a much lower exit, but that nine car just really got out of turn six so much better. Able to put a good distance there. Chase is going to look in the mirror and feel like, man, all right. Got a little more comfort, comfort there between me and the 11. Yeah, clearly, Chase Elliott's a little bit quicker, but how about Denny Hamlin? Every week, it seems, we see him battling for the win. Man, Denny drove it in there. <laughs> he did. Way he made it work. Deeper. Gonna get beat on this exit, but Denny Hamlin with a big surge there into, turn, into the rear chicane. Earlier, we heard Mario Andretti talk about history and making history. It was a historic event today. The Cup Series running on the road course at Daytona for the first time ever. A big challenge out of Denny Hamlin here one last time. But trying to make history, the nine of Chase Elliott, three road course wins in a row. He's going to win at Daytona. Not a lot of energy that's going to be generated from that. As long as they're too wide, now you're starting to see a little bit of a run from that top lane. That's going to move this bottom lane. Truex to the outside of Bell. What was the number you mentioned earlier, Steve? How many times at Super Speedway races has Martin Truex Jr. come up a little bit short? Car in the fence, hard. Oh, hard. 
Clint Boyer and the 14 slamming into the wall. Out of here, man. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. They've already taken the white flag. The next flag will end the race. Martrex Jr. out front. Now William Byron fighting on the inside for the lead and the win. They run behind him again. Stay with your teammate. They continue to fight. You're clear. Through three and four. William Byron looking for his first ever win in the NASCAR Cup Series. A win, a secured spot in the playoffs. William Byron's going to win. Chase Elliott coming home at second. NASCAR has told us they wouldn't throw the caution if they thought the drivers were not in danger if they were involved in an accident. They let them race all the way back to the checkered flag. You see the 13, Ty Dillon. Hard contact. We saw the four of Kevin Harvick also involved. Clint Boyer was involved. 21 and Matt DiBenedetto crossed the line in 12th with a little bit of damage from some of those crashes happening in that last lap. He has a little bit of... Right now, unofficially, the 48 of Jimmy Johnson out of the playoffs. The 21 of Matt DiBenedetto. Taylor, you can continue crying. We know you're watching at home. Matt DiBenedetto looks to have just made it into the playoffs. And there, the remnants of the 48 of Jimmy Johnson. A seven-time champion. He better do a hell of a burnout. William Byron, only the second driver ever to win in the 24. Of course, Jeff Gordon made the number famous. Checkered flag moment brought to you by Advance Auto Parts. Chad Knauss, a seven-time champion crew chief, <laughs> switched over to William Byron. Nice work, Byron. When we talked to Chad, he mentioned there's really no comparison between the two drivers because when he was with Jimmy, they were both younger. They were both kind of growing and learning the sport together. Now he has someone green who's learning the sport for the first time. And he's seven championships into it. Look at the celebration. Here we go. Trix gets loose. He understands that the one's going to try to compete with him in the breaking zone. And they both got in there too deep. Martin broke loose first. Gets sideways into Kurt. Kurt just not wanting to give up the spot. There won't be a restart. The white flag was taken by Chase Elliott. As he's in the infield part of the course now. Yeah, I was mentioning, Rick, those five playoff points will give him the fourth vote. So, so this win can help him in the next round, can help his path to the championship for Phoenix. And that now is the goal for everyone. Everyone that's in the top eight in points now, they're looking forward to the championship four. How do they get there? What do they do? In the next three races, they've got Kansas, Texas, Martinsville in front of them to try to get to Phoenix. Momentum is also a very big thing in racing. And when you come off of something like what we're seeing Chase Elliott do, it has to give him a nod as far as momentum on his side. He has the best average running position of everybody in the playoffs, Rick. So he is the hottest driver in the playoffs right now. One of the youngest. Four road course wins in a row. Chase Elliott's going to do it again at the Roval. Great job, bud. Great job. Awesome job. Appreciate it. Great job, guys. Think about this. On road courses, his win percentage is 42%. That is an unheard of number. Oh, Ricky, Ricky, Ricky. 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 Ricky.
I think the other big story that comes from what just happened here, the finish, the defending series champion, Kyle Busch, is eliminated. He will not have a shot at defending his title. Here's Balicki coming through what is NASCAR 4. Explodes the right rear tire. Sends him up in the wall. So the celebration will begin for Chase Elliott. I mentioned Kyle Busch. And now his focus, which he said his focus this whole year has been on just getting to victory lane. But that is going to take over his entire focus. Getting a win in 2020, keeping a streak alive that has gone for 15 years. Every year he has been in the Cup Series, he has won a race. He has not been able to win in 2020. Coming in, the playoff standings. No one improved their position. So Kyle Busch, Austin Dillon, Clint Boyer, Eric Almarola, the four that were below the cut line, they will be eliminated from the playoff contention. They will not advance into the round of eight. There are the four, the reset points at 4,000, and then all those playoff points. And you guys mentioned the fact that Chase Elliott grabs another five playoff points. Those add into his bucket, as we call it, and he will take that into the next three races. And he's one step closer to a championship. won a lot of races early on and then it became Harvick and Denny Hamlin for the rest of the year and that's all we talked about now this team here seeming to peak at the right time I know it's a road course that's not where it's going to be settled for the title but it's got to build a lot of confidence steering wheel off we'll see Chase Elliott climb out and the Dawsonville pool room is celebrating right alongside of Chase Elliott. This time the car's not going to roll back or roll away from him. Really hard to close the gap on the 18. He's down to two car lengths to Kyle Busch. He's got to make the pass or someone has to go around the 11. The That's final lap for Chase Elliott. Down the back stretch for the final time. Chase Elliott through three and four. He is going to win his way into the championship four. Elliott wins at Martinsville. Can Harvick do it? The final turn. Go get it. He needs the position. Oh, Harvick spins the 18. Turns into the 18. He turns as well. The 18 crosses the start finish line, and Harvick is going to be out of the playoffs. The question was asked earlier what would you do? What would you do to make it into the championship four? We saw Kevin Harvick, that last turn effort, trying to get that one point that he needed, and it didn't work out. But would you do it? What can you do? Chase Elliott came in in what looked like a must-win situation, and he wins at Martinsville. His first career win at Martinsville to advance to the championship four. And his first visit to the championship four, Chase Elliott now has a shot at a title. He's never won a title. Four wins in 2020. You see the elation as he's climbing out of the car. What a win for the 19.
apologize for the language, but the celebration is going to continue for at least a week now, Dave. One lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. One more time around. One mile away from a championship for Chase Elliott. He goes down the backstretch for the final time. The 24-year-old from Dawsonville, Georgia, is about to join his father, Dawsonville, in elite company. Chase Elliott is a NASCAR Cup Series champion. Yeah! Ring like that sign, boys! Yes! Yeah! Awesome, awesome, awesome! Love you, boys! Love you! We are the champions! Yes! The third family to do it. Father-son combo as you see the emotion Chase reaching. Chase now. Teared up a little bit there. Just thinking about all the hard work and all the years. Racing short tracks. The trucks and Xfinity Series. All those laps, hot, miserable days, disappointments, successes. Jimmy Johnson, uh, they call it the Polish victory lap. Alan Kowicki did this, where he's driver's side to the fans, waving. And now he comes up to the young driver that just won his first championship. Could be a handoff right there. Is that the passing of the torch right there? Yeah, that could be a handoff. Chase may run here and go make, make his run at that seven titles. Crew member ready to hand him the championship flag. All his guys standing on pit wall. Chase Elliott, the champion, Kelly. And I think it's all finally starting to soak in for Chase Elliott. Go ahead. <laughs> 